Hi, welcome to Strategically Styled. My name is Lisa. I'm a woman over 50 and this channel is dedicated to helping you achieve your style goals. And if one of your style goals is to transition from summer to fall and do it chicly, then you're in the right place. So depending on where you live, where I live here in the great state of Ohio, seasonally, you're ready to move on to fall, but weather-wise, uh, the weather is not moving on. It still feels like summertime. So that's where we are. So let's talk about that. But first, I remind you, if you enjoy this content, please give this video a thumbs up. It helps my channel and I appreciate it. Click the subscribe button and join our community and click the notification bell so you'll be notified when new content is uploaded. So to successfully transition from summer to fall, you need to consider the three C's. The three C's are cut, color, and composition. So cut is how the, fab how the clothes fit you. If it's hot, you want clothes that are cut looser and just not really clingy because you want air to be able to circulate underneath the clothes, between the clothes, and your skin. Obviously, if it's not hot and it's very cold, you want the opposite. You want things that fit closely that will not allow cold air to come up in between you and your clothes. But we're talking about when it's hot, hot fall. Color, of course, we think of traditional fall colors like golds, greens, browns, burgundies, some reds, orange, those kinds of things. Burgundy, I think, hands down is my favorite fall color, also well into winter. And then composition, by that I mean the type of fabric that you're wearing. Things obviously that are lightweight, airy, breathable, that sort of thing. So when you get your three C's right, you have the, the perfect formula, a winning formula to easily transition from summer into fall. So let me share with you my OOTD. It is this bowed front um, blouse and matching linen pants which I got from Casper in the color buttercup like the song why do you build me up buttercup baby just to let me down mess me around anyway let me show you so it is this very lightweight the pants as I mentioned are linen they are let me look at it linen blend elastic back pants and the blouse is called the Jasper Crepe Blouse, and it is thin and lightweight. In colder months, I could still wear it by putting a sweater or a blazer or something over it, and um, I'll be wearing this well till I can't wear it anymore, basically. And the shoes are old shoes that I got from Poshmark, and sometimes I've worn this whole set twice so far since I got it in August and um, sometime, one time I wore it with the blouse out another time I wore it with the blouse tucked in but loving it luxurious and if I can find it I will also insert a picture to show you when they sent it it came on its hanger and in the plastic yes bag and it was really ready to wear right out of the packaging I really didn't even need to be steamed or anything so way to go Casper in packing your ensemble so that's that so now let's talk about some four specific things you can do to chicly strategically transition from summer to fall so we talked about color before and here is one example I have this print blouse which I got from JCPenney and this skirt also from JCPenney and I got them both recently so they still may be available I will link them below I do want to show you this skirt it is this beautiful jersey fabric and it's got a little stretch to it and it's very thick and so well made and the band it's an elastic band but it just slides on and it's so comfortable and so luxurious and I'm just completely enthralled with this um, with this skirt and this it's a wraps mock wrap skirt excuse me and it's got the panel but it doesn't completely unwrap it's sewn shut so this is great for work or church or someplace like that where you just don't want to be coming all the way unwrapped 
<laughs> while you're you know doing your thing and these shoes are old burgundy shoes that I got from Poshmark some time ago and this blouse while it is long sleeve it is very it's cotton and airy and lightweight and breathable and that sort of thing so that is the first one and as I mentioned burgundy is kind of kind of my jam fall and winter so um, here I will show you um, this burgundy skirt because again styled some other ways because you don't have to be full-on fall so maybe just a fallish top or fallish bottom and then just pair it with whatever so here I have this beige blouse that I got from Veiled Collection some time ago if it's available I'll link it um, a denim shirt from JC Penney's this is old but you can find denim shirts pretty much anywhere and this yellow boho top which I thrifted from Goodwill so these are some of my fall looks also orange I think is the quintessential fall color so this orange button-up shirt it is thrifted from Goodwill and it's actually from JC Penney I just can't escape JC Penney I'm telling you even at the thrift store with this thrifted navy blue skirt that I also got from the thrift store some time ago and um, I'll show you these shoes I recently got these from Amazon because you know I love a sling back here obsessed and these are the brand is called Bella Vita I got them because they are leather 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 and look at the bottom how cute is that and it's a very low kitten heel very very doable extremely comfortable and it actually is a true uh, strap here because sometimes they give you that elastic band and then it kind of stretches out but this one you can actually adjust it and make sure it's secure so very pleased with that and they were super affordable so I'll link those below and then I have this nutmeg-ish shirt blouse that I thrifted and um, here I think I have this with this corduroy skirt that I got from JC Penney and listen I know it's corduroy but it's a skirt and it's a line so it's super um, it's flared out and it's loose fitting it's not like a tight pencil skirt where you know what you're not gonna get that air circulation that we all so love and need when it's like 90 degrees but we still want to be fallish so there is that another way to transition is through texture so anything that has leather details not full-on leather but has leather details so this dress it's Anne Klein also thrifted because like we do but it has these leather trimmed details and um, just here and there and that kind of leather to me says okay now we're, we're it's time it's time to transition over to um, to fall another um, way is through accessories obviously any leather kind of accessories especially like a leather bag a big hobo bag maybe or a nice chunky belt but wooden accessories so here I have these little earrings these are souvenir that someone brought me from South Africa and I have this wooden necklace and bracelet that were thrifted and also on my wrist I have this other it's a necklace but I just wrapped it around my wrist and what I like about that is because it is a necklace and not loose bangles it's not banging around and moving a lot because one of the things that well I love a good stack on other people personally it's just too distracting and irritating having anything that's constantly making noise and sliding around too much and yeah I, I just can't do it maybe I'll grow to that point but today not happening so wooden accessories um, and check your local thrift store because maybe you can find some good gems some nice wooden bangles or something or just one nice substantial one it's way to go so denim is another one but texture is like denim tweed and wool another thing is in addition to leather is suede like these um, suede shorts and these are old and if you follow this channel you saw them last fall and winter 
they're back. These are old Ralph Lauren. They were thrifted and um, wearing um, also other types of textures like denim, tweed, and wool. All of these things are just another way to transition to fall with texture. Next, um, speaking of accessories, so we talked about the wooden accessories, bringing that wooden texture, but here starting with a black and white base, as you see me do so often on this channel, and I'm going to add this brown bag and this scarf, and this brown bag is almost like embroidered, so it almost feels blankety. So I'm obviously not going to be adding anything onto my body that's going to make it too hot, but the bag itself kind of feels fallish so there's that or maybe even adding like a headscarf so here I have this um, very very old scarf it was my mom's and it has orange and yellow in it and I'm just tying it as a headscarf so at my job I'm not really a wear a headscarf to school person but I would twist it maybe a little thinner and wear it as like a headband around my hair. So that is also another way just to get like just a touch of fall because you're not ready for the full on transition, but just, just a little bit. So that is one of the ways through our accessory. Hey, it's Editing Lisa. I forgot tip number four for transitioning to fall, which is wear plaid. So I will show you, I am wearing this thrifted golden yellowish plaid shirt with the Casper pants and the yellow shoes that I got from Poshmark. And incidentally, I dyed those shoes. They were a pale yellow, if I didn't say that earlier, and I made them darker. And then also you could do cooler colors. It doesn't have to be bold, orangey, reddish colors. Like here, also a thrifted gray-ish plaid shirt which I'm wearing with these black JCPenney jeans. I believe they are St. John's Bay and the ankle boots are also from JCPenney and I'm wearing a thrifted black t-shirt underneath the gray plaid shirt. So wear plaid for fall. And my final tip is invest in a good pair of ankle boots. Now my ankle boots I got from JCPenney and here's the struggle. The struggle with me and ankle boots. I have skinny ankles. I do and the shaft of ankle boots it's almost always too wide for my ankle but these one I like them. I like the heel. They are black. They are faux leather and they have the elastic thing on the side and let me say this if you do have wide ankles these are the ankle boots for you but in any case I'm gonna wear mine anyway so here I'm wearing them with some tights I'm pretending it's cold fall but um, this thrifted dress it is forever 21 but it is thrifted um, from Goodwill I got it new with the tags and it still had the barcode on it when I scanned it this particular dress in this color is no longer available but they have it in a different color which I will inset the picture and only in larger like plus sizes so get in where you fit in with that but here i'm going to wear it with maybe this and this uh black leather blazer and this studded belt which i got from goodwill as well and ankle boots and i also have a pair of leopard print ankle boots which that way it gives you kind of that boot feel without a having some all up your legs and your calves all sweaty or you know just doing too much and also they fit nicely under your pants and not giving you a lot of bulk and texture so these are the ways that I like to transition from summer to fall using color texture with some key accessories and ankle boots that we can slowly make our way up to our for real for real boots in the winter so do you have good tips for how you transition from summer to fall if so comment down below and once again thank you for watching don't forget to like subscribe turn on the notifications and until the next time i hope your day is blessed and stylish